I'm just joking. All right. So let's start again. I'm sorry. So um, here's where we are. So currently, um, the date today is May the fourth. Yeah. It's Star Wars, right? May the fourth be with you. Right. Okay. So today is the fourth. And the boats are due on the 23rd. Now, we were going to do the racing in the afternoon, but I moved the racing to the morning. So you're going to drop the boats off before school, okay? And then we're just going to stay in the gym for first hour. We're going to get everybody dressed and ready. Then we're all going to move to the pool. Um, and then we're going to race them hours one, two, and three. Okay? So we get hours one, two, and three off. So at least one and two. I don't know how long it's going to take because I don't know how many boats there's going to be. Is it moving to the it is. Um, so, <coughs> here's what I want to say about this. You have three weekends. Okay, we got this weekend coming up, the weekend after that, and then the, the last weekend. And depending on where you are, um, you may have a lot of time or you may not have very much time. For example, if you say to me, like, look, I have an AP test this week and I want to spend this weekend studying. I can understand that. Now, I also know high school kids, you're not going to spend all weekend studying, but I understand that you are managing your priorities. That's important. Um, also, this weekend here is the prom weekend. Okay, so if you're a senior and this is something that you're going to be participating in, you may not be like, yeah, let's build a boat and go to the prom. Right? I, I understand. Okay, I understand. But so. We can build our boat after the prom. Taking, the boat. <laughs> taking care. Okay, also. I don't want you to like procrastinate and look at it and say, hey, hey man, we got like three, we got three weekends before the boat's due, and then we get to the 20th and you're like, wait, when's the boat due? Right? I don't want that to happen. Okay? So what we can do, okay, is as a group, we can brainstorm, okay, as a group, we can brainstorm the things that you need to plan. Because if we're gonna be successful in this, we want to be able to uh, do some proactive planning to put you in a position to know what you have to do and what kind of communication you have to have with your group members to get it done. Does that make sense? So you tell me, what are some things that you need to like think about and take care of to be successful in this? Go ahead. Getting supplies. Absolutely. we got to get the supplies. So what do you need? You need, you need a couple things. Balancing this with um, our board. Okay. So about the tape. Okay. About the tape. Um, you don't need the fanciest tape. I also would not buy the cheapest tape. So duct tape is. Um, it's going to be rated in the thickness of it. You can get something in the middle. You know, some years kids like, oh, let's get the Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape is great stuff. It's just way too expensive for this project. Oh, I'm okay. Um, it's it's just I'm really expensive. So get some tape, but don't buy the cheapest. Don't buy the most expensive. Yes. Would colored duct tape work? It is. It's actually really expensive. Um, but yes, you can use it. If you go to like Michaels or something, you can put as much colored duct tape as you want. Um, one thing. Um, one thing I do want to suggest though is you need something with which to cut the cardboard. Exactly. Right? So, um, kitchen knives are not good for this. I like where your head's at, though. Um, Exacto is a brand name. So any kind of box cutter. But listen, you're going to be using something sharp, so please be careful. Okay. I do not think so. Um, so, this actually is an interesting question because. Are there what are you boxing back there? What are you doing? Um, if you've ever like done any quilting or had to cut fabric, yeah. you put it on like uh, like a piece of like they're like boards. They're almost like they're cutting boards for fabric, yeah. and you have a cutter that looks like a pizza cutter, but it's a fabric cutter, and you just run along the fabric, and it literally just cuts it. It yeah. seems like magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you've never done it, it actually seems like magic. It's very all right. Getting supplies. So when you talk to your group, someone's gonna have to do it. You don't all need to go, but someone absolutely needs to go. Does that make sense? 
Oh, I would send Sophia. Yes. <laughs> well, she has showed. <laughs> she has showed her ability to the first and Second to nine. All right. What else do you have to think about and or play and go? Establish where you're going to meet. This is this is not unimportant. This is huge. So the where. Where and what time? So that's, we're going to do that too. So the where is important. A couple things about this. One, it's actually nice and warm now. I mean, I know 60 degrees doesn't feel like the warmest weather, but it was 40 the other day. So you can build it in someone's garage. You can build it in someone's basement. I don't care if you build it in someone's living room, but don't build it in someone's basement that's too small to get it out. <laughs> yes. Because, I know, I know, man, I don't tell you. So you are going to need to establish sooner than later where this is going to happen. Okay. Also, why can't you just go to someone's house to do it? You can, but you just don't make it to a doorway where you can't get it out. I mean, don't and don't show up at someone's house whose mom's going to be like, try someone else's, right? Okay. The when is also important. I'm going to say you need, and you can prove me wrong if you would like. You need two times. You need to start and you need to finish. Now, I would plan at least two times, but I would not plan them on like Saturday and Sunday or like Sunday and Sunday because you're going to run into problems. This is how this works. I tried to help you with a little building of the boats so you could have a really solid idea, but if you just plan one time, you're like, oh, we're going to get it all done. It's going to be great. What happens if you actually run into problems? Then, like, then, then oh. right? So try to plan two different times. One where you can start, and if you start and finish, and then you get some free time. But be be proactive in your planning. Say these are the times we're going to get together. Not every kid has to be in your group has to be there. But if you're in a group, try to be there, right? Like try to be there. Try to like live up to your responsibility. And you can you can designate this however you want. Uh, what else do we need to consider? What else do you need to plan for? Who's going in the boat? Yes. Yeah. So this happens every year. This happens every year. All the boats show up, and then a group comes to me and says, well, um, we don't have anybody to row. What do you mean you don't have anyone to row? Don't you just get in the boat and go? Yes, but what what will happen, and it'll happen again this year, and, and it's not that big of a deal, but someone will volunteer, or the group will think that someone volunteered, and then that person won't bring, because they don't want to, they won't bring appropriate attire to, to row, right? Yeah, that's the problem. So what you need to do is you need to establish who is rowing, Make sure they are also on board with who is rowing, and then help them remember to bring yeah, a program. What if they're sick? Like they're Charlie's rowing, so it's me and you rowing. So. That is so sad. Should we have an alternate rower? No. <laughs> like so you have some ways to mitigate this. Um, reset, please. You have some ways to mitigate this. You can have an alternate rower. Um, you can, you know. Um, you know, make sure like like I know I'm rowing. If you're not feeling great in the days leading up to, or maybe you come to school just for that. I mean, there's ways to mitigate these things. Okay. Yeah. Famous. <coughs> yeah. Thing. What? I forgot. But are you giving them to us? Or yes. Oh, okay. And we'll do that next week. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, well, don't worry about that right now. Yeah, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. Those are so funny. I'll go in the boat and get those. So what's our final are we presenting Okay, let's focus on one thing at a time, man. Well, it's just like a lot. It's a 70, 70 question multiple choice test. Just like the midterm. Just like the midterm. Can we minimize it to like 25? 70. Don't attack. Can we do less? Ah. Okay, I'll Then what? Um, all right. What else do you think you need to plan for? 
What's that? Presentation. Yeah, but I'm talking about just like for the transportation class. Yeah, transportation. That's it. There it is. That's the last one. We'll just hike it. You know what I mean? Like they sell a bunch of Yes. Um, oh, how is the boat going to get you there? Is that the question? So, this actually. This is actually not that not that challenging, but you need to attend to it in your planning, where um, you need to get the boat here. If you have a, a pickup truck or an SUV where you can open up the back or a minivan, all those just slide in the back, drive nice and slow, you're good to go. You could, I've, it never fails. I love when I see kids pull into the parking lot and it's just strapped to the top. That's my favorite. Like there's nothing, there's nothing better than that. <laughs> that seems very dangerous, don't do that. We drive like one mile an hour. So right now, I can't think of anything else that I would like you to attend to, but um, I would say don't wait. On, on any of this. Like, get with your group and figure out, like, who's doing what when, who's doing the rowing, who's doing the shopping, how are we going to get the cardboard? Don't buy it. There's plenty of places to get it. Yeah. So, what exactly are we being graded on? Okay, look at the sheet. Okay. Look at the sheet. Um, going down and back is one of the grades, but it's one of like eight different things. So, what? So, if we think that's just a zero, Yes. But then, what's the highest grade you can get? Okay. 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 So okay. Okay. What if I just grab my bet all the way? Zero. Alright. Questions, comments, or concerns about boat building? Do I do it every year? I would like to. I mean, to be honest with you, I think it's a great thing for you guys. Yeah. But, but for me, um, I do it for you guys. I don't do it for me. I, don't, I, get, I like to see you guys um, have fun and succeed and, and do really well, and that's good enough for me. But there's no, there's no uh, real extrinsic for me. Did you ever ride in a boat? No. Would I or have I? Uh, have you? No. And How much do you do in a boat? See? What's that? I'm willing to pay to see you in a boat. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. What if I pay you to review the second level? I am not for sale. Can we make a book for you? What if we give you a hundred dollars? What if we give you a hundred dollars? What if we give you a hundred dollars? Hundred dollars and you can pay a hundred dollars? Mr. Price, you hear me? Yeah. Can we make a book for you? What if I give you a thousand extra credit points? Okay. A million extra credit points? I think you have to say something. Put a hundred all right, gentlemen and ladies, if you would, um, we're going to draw some pictures, so get out your notebooks, open up to a brand spanking new page. I'm going to kind of lead you in understanding something brand new today. Brand spanking new. Mr. Potter, are you in a better mood now? Uh, yeah, I'm still a little on edge and trying really hard though. Where's the Wait, we just broke it up. We should finish the end of Oh my god, I would love that. Elon Musk is fun with her. He is like, he is crazy, crazy. See, Elon Musk is the vet gal? He's just like, oh, he's pretty good. He's alright. He looks like a pretty good guy. He looks like a pretty good guy. He looks like a pretty good guy. That was so bad. I don't know. 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 I
You guys see the boat? Yeah. So what I'm interested in is this. Um, I can see the boat, um, and it's just floating in the water. It's just chilling there. It's not going forward or back or up or down. It's just chilling. So draw the boat and draw the water. And then underneath it, I would like you to draw a force diagram for the boat. So draw a dot, draw some arrows. And you want to label these with the physical object, the agent object notation. So what's pulling on what? Oh, is this like to help us with our projects? It's helping with your understanding of what's really happening. So yes. Is buoyancy a? I don't know what's a buoyancy. I've never seen a buoyancy. The force of water on the. I've never I've never seen a buoyancy. 